Hey, welcome back everybody to the Budget Bladesman. The blade we're going to be looking at today is the Cold Steel Tough Light. And we're going to open this bad boy up, take a look at some of these specs. So we have an overall length of 6 inches, a blade length of 2.5 inches, and then we have a blade thickness of 0.11. You can see kind of a nice thick, beefy blade for a little guy. The steel, we'll flip this over, take a look. The steel is, there we go, OS 8A, and even though this is an American company, the blade is assembled in Taiwan, and we are looking at a satin finished blade. And it also is a hollow grind. You can see it's kind of a medium hollow grind. You can kind of see where the grind stops, right about here. And they're calling this a Warncliffe blade. I always kind of get Warncliffe and Sheep's Foot confused, but we'll just go with what the manufacturer says. And this is a GrivX, what they call their plasticky stuff is they call it grip x and that's what the handle material is you can see you can lock in nice and tight you get a forward finger twirl there and then another groove for your next finger and i have large size hands and this just locks right in we also have that jimping kind of that tough jimping that cold steel is uh, known for starts on the blade and works itself all the way back into the handles you can see right there right through there you have some real good jimping you just locks yourself right in there and this isn't a very big blade. We're going to pull it out after we uh, go over one or two more things. You can see it does have that nice snap in there, which is that cold steel tri uh, triad lock, which is something they're definitely known for. And it is a thumb hole deployment. You see right there. And it is a uh, tip down only, which is kind of a bummer, but that's what we got. Uh, it is ambidextrous, though, and so this will good work for work well for lefties or righties. You can see the, uh, the thumb hole is one of those ones that just as makes it easy, really easy for lefties or righties to open up. So we'll close that back up real quick. And this is a blade that fits right in our budget here and it looks about $30 just pretty much everywhere you look. Now this is a um, just your plain blade. They actually do have a uh, combo blade and basically the combo blade is mostly serrated. It goes up until about right there. So your combo, it's not really a combo blade, it's more uh, more uh, serrated than combo, but you do have about the last quarter of the blade or so that's just a uh, straight blade. So we'll close that up and we'll get out our comparison knives. And uh, like we covered before, our first comparison knife is gonna be the K-Bar Dozer. And we see that comes in right at three inches and we're gonna open this up and take a look at those two next to each other first. So you can see that the K-Bar Dozer, even though it's a small knife, still comes in quite a bit longer than the Tough Light. And if we look at the blades together, if we get the sharpened blade length, you can see it's about uh, about half inch or so, a little bit longer than that. And uh, overall, overall length, just a little bit longer. And But the uh, Tough Light is definitely thicker than our K-Bar Dozer. And then we'll bring out our other knife, which is the Gerber Flat Iron. Which this big, this is definitely a big guy, and this is, you know, if we put sharpened blade length, significantly shorter on the Tough Light than our Gerber flat iron, and overall you can almost fit the entire Tough Light into the Gerber flat iron. So it is quite a bit smaller than the flat iron. So we'll put those guys away real quick. And so we're, this knife really excels out. Is it's great as a box cutter you know opening knife and you get right in this box and it just goes straight across like that it's really easy to do that and it's got a nice flat blade and since it's kind of a smaller knife it's not going to be real menacing in the office it is a little bit small so it shouldn't be too bad i will say the one thing it does have a very audible click you can really hear it snap open so that might be something people don't necessarily like but other than that it shouldn't be too bad so we're going to try this out in the shorts and see how it looks in there Okay, so we're going to pull out our shorts here, put the cold steel tough light in there, and see how that looks. Alright, so you can see right there that you still do, it's not a real deep rise pocket clip, it still sticks out a fair bit, but uh, you should be able to get your hand in there nice and easy. I mean, it goes right in. And this would go, for this obviously the same if you were wearing uh, khakis. Again, we'll take a look at the actual pocket and if you look at the actual pocket I mean your knife's here and 
you have all this whole room for the rest of your stuff that you might slip in there maybe a, a front pocket wallet or multi-tool or a flashlight or whatever the case may be you got tons of room in that guy So just a real quick overview of this guy. I think it's a nice little knife. You know, it really excels as being a box cutter, just a general utilitarian knife, something that's going to just get the job done. It's not going to be big and fancy and anything like that, but it's definitely, as the name implies, tough, and it's really going to get the job done. It really locks in the hand, and you're going to get the job done no matter what you need to do. So on that note, uh, this is the Cold Steel Tough Light, and we'll catch you guys next time.